My dear friends, never place a man's opinion above Yah's truth. In his living and inspired Kordish word, and not the dead words or the opinions of any man, minister or priest, in the world. Amen. As we his elect, to continue his restoration, by the cleansing of his word of life, and making it straight, as he commands us to do so. From the key hill of Smyrna Yah, Omain. My dear brothers and sisters of our congregation, we come to you with a heavy heart, for those in the world that are deceived by these workers of iniquity, and how they corrupt and change the spiritual truth of our fathers inspired, living and loving word, O main. They are marked by Yah, as deceivers and co-workers, as they rebelled in the first earth age, along with Ha Satun, against the kingdom of Yah, and are doing the same today, for nothing is new under the sun. These dead and evil souls, certainly don't belong at the table of our Moshiach, Yahushua, along with us, his elect, forever, O main. Now let us get into the heart of our study today, my beloved friends, in Chazan Lehuchanan, by John as he wrote down as he was instructed to do so. The book of Revelation, means to reveal to Yah's elect, so then if you are part of Yah's elect, this message today is directed to you, as his Ruach Kordish leads us into one accord, O main. Chapter 12, the number 12, means, dealing with the governmental structure, which we will cover in our study. This is a unique and fantastic chapter for it covers a great deal of time, than any other chapter in the Bible itself. It covers, from the first earth age, then throughout this age, the second earth, and even up to the first day of the millennium. My dear friends, placed in this chapter, is a very important message for Yah's elect, following the two witnesses and then the seventh trumpet, to give us a warning, all in the chronological order as to these events that are going to take place, and who does what in the time period, O main. My dear friends, most false prophets and teachers in the world today miss this mark and don't understand the world that then was, for they truly don't understand, the spiritual inspired living word of our father, Yah. They are all false prophets and teachers, all blind guides, that corrupt the minds of men, and shall receive their just rewards in the end, by deceiving them in the world, these workers of iniquity as they spread and promote the false teachings of Ha Satun, who they serve in the world today, O main. My beloved, as outlined in this chapter, Yu Chanan received this vision while in heaven, however, the fourth vision is here, on the earth, verses 7 to 18. And the great dragon is cast out of heaven to the earth, verses 7 to 9, all at different time periods, as we continue our study today, O main. Now let us make it straight, as his Ruach teaches us, O main. In the Aramaic English, with the Hebrew translations, verse 1, and a great sign appeared in heavens, a woman who was wearing the sun, and the moon was under her feet, and a crown of twelve stars on her head. Gadol, in Hebrew, means, miraculous sign, was seen in Shemaim, means heavens, having been clothed with the Shemesh, means, sun, and the Levana, means, moon, Takath, means underneath the feet of her, and on the Rosh, meaning head or chief, of her in Itara, means crown, diadem, means a jeweled crown or headband worn as a symbol of sovereignty, of Kokavim, means, stars, numbering twelve. The twelve stars, twelve completeness as to the tribes of Israel. Our father's plan of salvation is written in the zodiac, his twelve signs in the heavens, that make up, is, Ra, El, Omain. Now for the Hebrew word, Levana, name means moon or white. Incom, Yah, Nehemiah 7 verse 48, as used is an emotional spectrum, a swirl of conflicting emotions, Levana, is a complicated person. Levana also means to renew yourself. Like a new moon, 
In the Book of Beginnings, in the story of creation, the moon is described as the lesser light that our Heavenly Father, Yah created to rule the night, and He made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, and the lesser light to rule the night, He made the stars also. All in chapter 1, verse 16, in the Book of Beginnings. My dear friends, which light are you following today, do you know? We pray that you are following the light of the world, the greater light of all, O main. Now here we have the Hebrew word, takath, means underneath, below, instead of, where they stand, as your enemies beneath your feet, the enemies of you, as, a footstool for the feet, in reference to the moon, being the lesser light, of the night, for we are the children of the light, and not the night, for in the very beginning was the light as creation began, the light of Yahushua, the word, of everlasting life, O main. We know the time frame here, as the earth was replenished, as it came out of the water, the second earth, on the old foundation, for the first earth that was destroyed by a great flood that covered the entire earth, like one big ocean, the earth that then was, the old world, for there was no sun nor moon created then, O main. In this chapter 12 we leave the last three and a half year period, and return all the way back to the world that was, the first earth age, and some of the events that happened in the world that then was, the old world. Then we take a fast sweep through our father's plan up to the first day of the millennium. All of these events recorded in this twelfth chapter may be somewhat confusing to you. This wonder is a great sign in the heavens. The woman here is not the congregation or church, for a church building has never delivered any child. This mother has nothing to do with the church. This woman is Israel, the twelve sons of Yaakov, Jacob, or tribes, as in Yehuchanan, John 16 verse 21. The same political and social order that was in existence at the end of the first earth age, prior to this age of flesh man, will be also ruling, as then, over the earth at the end of our current earth age, during the sixth horn, as the fake and imposter rules as anti-messiah who the world calls their Jesus, who is coming soon, as the world proclaims, for they are all blind, but is only the deceiver, ha satan, o main. My dear friends, please fix in your mind that the time period, that is being spoken of here is the time when the souls of men were not in the flesh, like the angels, it was in that first earth age before the events, what we call the gap, the missing time period between verses 1 and 2 in the Book of Beginnings, Mesa Bereshith, Genesis, Chapter 1, O Main. Verse 2, And she was pregnant, and she cried out and was in labor, she was also in anguish to give birth. My dear friends, as to the birth of a new age, that is coming. In the Hebrew for this verse it states, that in her womb having a yelled, means child, being the Moshiach, in Yeshua, Isaiah 9, verse 6, For a child shall be born unto us, a son shall be given unto us, and the rule is on his shoulder. And his name is called Wonder, Counselor, Strong El, Father of Continuity, Prince of Peace. As we continue this verse 2, And she cries out, Suffering Shevli, means pains, as in pains to give birth. Before the arrival of our Mashiach, as the seventh horn sounds, it will be like labor pains, every day will bring new adversities and harsh decrees. No sooner is one trouble over than another one appears. As in Yeshua, Isaiah 26 verse 17, O main. My dear friends, this is addressing the time of the return of our Moshiach, Yahushua, the time spoken that will come upon the earth as a woman's birth pains that brings a close to this age of the flesh. Then comes the birth, the entering into the new earth age, where the flesh and blood cannot exist. These birth pains, are their signs and events of the prophecies given throughout all the Bible, only in our generation are they are growing so close together that some are happening right on top of each other. Today we can see many of the prophecies happening on the same day and at the same time. Most of them that call themselves Christians, see these prophecies coming to pass before their eyes, rather than rejoicing in our Moshiach, Yahushua, they cry out in despair. 
they scream out like it was a punishment aimed at them, when it is exactly what our father, Yah, said would come to pass, for it is all written down in his inspired and living word, his overall plan for us, the ones that love him, part of the living, in his kingdom here on the earth, Omain. These uneducated ones in Yah's word, don't understand what is happening because there is the birth of a new age about to take place, and they didn't even know the old age was pregnant. They are ignorant of not only this age, but the first age, and the millennium to come. They have chosen to be ignorant of the events that bring us into that age, because they would rather listen to these insane fairy tales, about signs in the heavens, or a doomed day to come, that men and women have dreamed up. That is what is behind in this verse. So if you are one of Yah's children, you will use this apocalypse of Isaiah, chapters 24 to 27 to set your mind at ease, that the truth can comfort you as these signs and events take place. Become mature in the inspired spiritual living word of our Father, as his Ruach from above leads us into all truth, and then grasp the meat of it in understanding, so it will carry you through these times. When you understand what the future is it will give you peace of mind, O main. Verse 3, And another sign appeared in heaven, and behold, a great fiery dragon that has seven heads and ten horns, and upon its head seven diadems, meaning seven crowns. Review Daniel, Daniel 7, verses 7 to 20, for better understanding. We know this was in the first earth age, for in this earth age of the flesh, we are presently living in, he, meaning Ha Satan will have the same governmental system as then, but will be made up of ten crowns, not seven, as in the first earth age. This wonder sign, in the heavens, is the great red dragon, always being Ha Satan. Here again, it is all happening in heaven, prior to Maseh, Beresheth, Genesis 1, verse 2, in the first earth age, the old world that then was, in the very beginning of time, millions if not billions of years ago, all these events will be just like it will be at the end of this earth age. Ha Sat Tun had seven dominions then, with ten agencies of power and that had their authority. For Ha Sat Tun had complete universal control over that prior earthly kingdom, and he had total political control as well. This we will see in the book of Revealing, Revelation chapter 13, is a copy of this present earth age, and the United Nations, with its ten units of power, taking control over all its dominions, through his one world system. Though the forms of government, and their systems appear at first to be the same, we will see the differences between these two ages of time, that of the first, and the flesh age we are now in, O main. My dear friends, to recap for better understanding, so then please follow along, Ha Satan's governmental system during the first earth age, consisted of seven heads or beasts, ten horns of power and seven crowns or agencies. Present earth today consists of seven heads or beasts, ten horns of power, and now ten crowns or agencies that make up his one world order. After his system falls at the close of the fifth trumpet the time we are presently living in that is going to end shortly, as the beast takes a deadly wound, that is his political system that falls. Then when he returns at the sixth trumpet as the fake messiah he revives the beast and changes his entire system by placing his political system now under his religious system. As it once was in the very beginning with only seven crowns, and no longer using flesh man to take control but replaces them all with a few of his falling angels, O main. Verse 4, And its tail dragged the third of the stars that are in the heavens and cast them upon the earth, and the dragon was standing before the woman who was ready to give birth, that when she had delivered, it would devour her son. My dear friends, now we transfer to Marion and the coming of our Mashiach, the Messiah, within this present earth age. Ha Sat Tun caused the children of Yah to fall to the earth, because he deceived them causing them to fall to this present earth, by going against the kingdom of Yah, he himself drew a death sentence for his action. But Yah the father didn't want to destroy his disobedient children as it is written in Yeshkel, Ezekiel, chapter 28 verses 18 and 19, so then he destroyed that earth age of the past. 
The stars of heaven are the sons of Elohim. This old dragon caused one third of all of Yah's creation to follow him. One third of his children, about four billion, being born into this last generation, are all those in their soul bodies, are also called angelic souls, or better yet the spirit man. What it is saying here, is through Hasatun's fall in the first earth age, he drew one third of Yah's children to him. He caused them to fall, and they worshipped him, and believed in him to be their Elohim. Very much like today for they are still following him, unaware. For we are all born innocent of our past, and now born into a flesh body for what we did against Yah, our heavenly father, in the first earth age. Born in the image of Elohim, with free will, to determine whom to serve, Yah and his kingdom or Hasatun the deceiver. The choice is yours, my dear friends, and this is why the father sent you his letter, so to know how to understand, all truth from the very beginning to the very end, when it comes to Hasatun is to his means of trickery through deception. This is Hasatun's desire for this age of the flesh, to cause all them in the world, the children of our father, to worship him as their Elohim. For all in the world, today are deceived by this fake and imposter, who takes on the role of your Jesus today, in those church houses made of stone and wood by the hands of men, and are unaware they are serving Ha Satan, for he disguises himself by wearing his sheep's clothing, in order to deceive all that believe he is the real thing, the Lamb of Yah, O Main. When we read that all living came from Mother Eve, it means that our Moshiach, Messiah came from, or through Mother Eve. He came through the offspring of Mother Eve, to Miriam, his flesh mother. And it is only through our Moshiach, Yahushua, the real and only one, is offering eternal life to all mankind. For acceptance of Yah's gift, all mankind must pass from death, meaning your spirit man is dead, without the Moshiach, our only substitute, for our sins. Substitution is one of the major themes of the Bible. Yah instituted the principle of substitution in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve sinned. The Messiah's death on the cross was substitutionary in that he took our punishment. Yeshua, Isaiah 53, verses 4-6 says, Surely our griefs he himself bore, and our sorrows he carried. Yet we ourselves esteemed him stricken, smitten of Elohim, and afflicted. 5 but he was pierced through for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The chastening for our well-being fell upon him, and by his scourging we are healed. 6. All of us like sheep have gone astray. Each of us has turned to his own way. But the Father, Yah, has caused the iniquity of us all to fall on him, O Main. My dear friends, only to eternal life of the spirit man, through the blood of Yahushua, our Moshiach, the one anointed by the Father, as one is born again from above and united back to the Father along with his kingdom, O Main. So we see this refers to spiritual life, meaning the spirit man that is now alive, from above and united back to the Father, who is a living spirit man. And not the physical life, for the spirit man is only dead from his past sins by going against Yah's kingdom in the first earth, the old world, that then was. Now my dear friends, without being born from above, the spirit man is only dead, meaning one's soul is dead. Belonging to Hasatun, for flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of Yah, only a living spirit man can. So then get yourself right with the father, and his ben, Yahushua, our king priest, under the order of Melchizedek, our Moshiach, to bring everlasting life to one's spirit man as one repents and lives in the spirit man forever, O Main. Verse 5, And she delivered the son, the male who was to shepherd all the nations with a rod of iron. And her son was caught up to Elohim and to his throne. The man-child that was brought forth in the little town of Bethlehem when Yahushua, the Moshiach, child was born. There is only one that sit upon this throne and the only one to do this was a child. And that child is I Yahushua, Ha Moshiach, O Main. This verse covers two advents, comings, the first is Yahushua, the Moshiach's birth as a child, 
and his second coming will be at the seventh trumpet. Then he will come to rule all nations with a rod of iron. Yahushua, Hamoshayach will come as the Melech, of Melechs, and More of Mores, Omain. Verse 6, And the woman fled to the wilderness, where she had a place prepared by Elohim where she would be sustained 1260 days. My dear friends, you can get a better understanding of this when you evaluate the days of Daniel, that is how you figure these days out. In Daniel chapter 7, where some were cast down, and the temple was not cleansed for 2300 days, which goes from 1400 BC up until this generation. How fantastic it is that our Father gives us these truths, to observe, to absorb, and to know. Now, who is on that throne, he is, and he is still there, and very much hears you today. Now what is that wilderness? The tribes, those twelve stars, that scattered, while in the wilderness, over the Caucasus Mountains some 600 BC by the Assyrians, and later settling in Europe, then migrating through Canada, and the Americas. Which was a wilderness then. Many have difficulty understanding that this nation is a superpower of superpowers, is little over 200 years old, a short timer, compared to Mitzrayim, Egypt and few other nations that are thousands of years old. We use Mitzrayim because Yah promised it will always be a base nation, and always has been. Many nations come and go, and even have name changes, but not Mitzrayim. Why? Because Yah declared it, O Main. Verse 7, And there was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fighting with the dragon, and the dragon and its angels fought. My dear friends, this event brings us back into heaven, and not on the earth. The war is between Ha-Satan, his many names, the dragon, at the close of the first earth, and his angels, who are fighting against Michael, the archangel, and his angels. Ha-Satan lost this battle, as the old world, that then was, being destroyed by the hand of Yah. Omain. Verse 8, And did not prevail, neither was a place found for them in heaven. My dear friends, he did not prevail, along with his falling angels of 7000, meaning they did not overcome, their imprisonment while in heaven, for Harsat Tun and the lot of them were eventually thrown out of heaven along with his falling angels, this is why there is silence in heaven, for he is going to be thrown out to this present earth, in the book that reveals to Yah's elect, Revelation chapter 8, verse 1, states there is silence in heaven for one half an hour, that is the hour of temptation here on the earth, which is 150 solar days for Yah's elect, or five moon months, as Paha Satan's time for all those he deceived on the earth. This is when he makes his trip as the false messiah, Omain. This is the time of the sounding of the sixth trumpet, when Ha Satan, and his fallen angels are released upon the earth for the final five months period, spoken of in the book of revealing to Yah's elect, Revelation chapter 9, verses 5 to 10. Now Ha Satan will spend five months, or 150 solar days, here on earth deceiving all mankind, then go to the pit for the thousand years. After that thousand years, Ha Satan, not his fallen angels for they were destroyed by our father, Yah, for killing his two witnesses, the whole lot of them, all seven thousand in Jerusalem. Ha Satan will be released for a short period, at the second rise, then go to perdition, meaning, perish. Once Ha Satan is kicked out of heaven, he will not be allowed to return. Today he is in heaven, locked up, but his spirit still roams the earth, and is still accusing the elect before the father, Yah. This prophecy, will come very shortly, as the sixth horn sounds, O Main. Verse 9, And the great dragon was cast down, the chief serpent, which is called the devil and Ha Satan, which deceives all the earth, and it was cast down unto the earth and its angels were cast down with him. If you were ever confused who Ha Satan is, Yayu Chanan. John calls him by the names he used while playing his different roles on earth. The dragon is his name. From the first earth age, 
the serpent is his name, from the garden, second earth, the seducer of women, and the devil is his overall name, for the many different roles he plays in the eons of time, O main, which deceived all of the earth, meaning the whole earth's population, including Christians and everyone else. Therefore those church houses that you attend every week, are not doing their job, or are they? If they are working for the enemy, this fake Elohim, by the name of Jesus, your Lord, who is only Baal, another name for Ha-Satan, O main. The dragon is Ha-Satan's role in that first earth age, when one third of all of Elohim's children followed him, four billion souls, thinking he was their Elohim, very much today as the entire world is still following after him, nearly six billion, except for Yah's elect and those being sealed in this last generation. For nothing has changed under the sun. Ha-Satan's evil spirit is allowed on earth now, along with his demons. However, you haven't seen Ha-Satan in person as of yet. He and his angels, both physically and bodily, will come to earth just as they did in the Book of Beginnings, in Bereshith, Genesis chapter 6, O Main. When Ha-Satan is cast out it will be as it was in the days of Noah. This is what Yahushua said in Matthew, Matthew 24, only in this translation here, from the Aramaic to English states, verse 37, but just as the days of Noah, so will the coming of the Son of Man be. Verse 38, for just as they were eating and drinking before the flood, and they were taking wives, and they were taking husbands, until the day that Noah entered the ark, O main. My dear friends, this is telling us that mankind, that includes both the men and the women, will be mixing with the angels, meaning the women and even the men will be marrying them, just as it was going on in Noah's day before the flood. Please note, men marrying men as today, for Ha Satan has prepared the world to accept these evil acts, that is totally going against our father and his creation plan for his children. In the story of Sodom and Gomorrah in the book of beginnings, Beresheth, Genesis chapter 19, is about these evil acts, of same gender, in sexual relations. Just like the evil men of Sodom, who wanted to have a sexual relationship with the two angels then. The crime of Sodom was not homosexuality, but attempted gang rape of the two angels of Yah. These acts will become a reality with the falling angels that will be here shortly with Ha Satan at the sixth horn. Don't ever forget. My friends, once Lot and his family were all out safely, then Yah, rains down burning sulfur, on Sodom and Gomorrah, completely destroying those cities and their inhabitants, O Main. Now what is Saul, teaching here in, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 10, because of this, a woman is obligated to have authority over her head, for the sake of the angels. My dear women, this verse is directed to you, you must keep your head covered, not your hair, but with the real Yahushua, Ha Moshiach, over your head, and have authority meaning to take full charge of what you know and understand about this spiritual truth, about this subject matter of these falling angels, that are coming very soon and don't be taken by them, reject them in the name of Yahushua, as noted for the sake of the angels, what angels, the ones spoken here, the falling ones, are the angels that are coming with the fake, Messiah, at the sixth trumpet and is not the real one, for I Yahushua, Ha Moshiach, only comes at the seventh and final horn, when we are all living in our spirit man bodies, for all of our flesh is done away with forever, only at this time, at the last horn, as our flesh bodies come to an end, O main. My dear friends. These seven thousand falling angels are the negative part of our father's plan, for he has his positive part as well, which consists of his seven thousand chosen elect. Now these evil and falling angels, are written up in Yehuda, Jude that are already in chains, and sentenced to destruction. They will be destroyed, when that seventh trumpet sounds, as stated in the book of revealing to Yah's elect, Revelation chapter 11, verse 13. O main. Now, at this time, sodomy will be common, and all forms of filth will be made public, and accepted and considered normal. The world, 
and the Kenite influence is preparing us today, that one's own mind, to accept all forms of filth in sex and marriage as being natural, and to consider their perversion, as being of Elohim. My dear friends, your acceptance and view of this filth of sodomy, in religious forms, will tell you to what state of depravity your mind has sunk. The condition of your soul will be determined by what you know, and how you stand on these issues, at Harsat Tun's arrival to earth, at the sixth horn, which is coming very soon, for he comes first as the fake messiah, the one who the Christians in the world, are serving today, and waiting on, as they promote his early arrival, their Christ, in those church houses made by the hands of men, O Main. Back to Revelation 12, verse 10, And I heard a great voice from heaven that said, Now is the deliverance and the power and the kingdom of Yah, for the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them night and day before our Elohim, now this is why Hasat Tun's other name is the accuser, for he continually stands before our father's throne, accusing all the elect of Yah. When you mess up, Hasat Tun will let the father, our Yah know about it. That is why it is important for us to repent immediately when we become aware of sin in our lives. Then all barriers between Elohim and us are removed. Hasat Tun will continue to accuse you before our father, Yah, right up to the time he is cast out of heaven, to the earth, at the sixth horn, O Main. Have you ever read the book of Job, Job means persecuted, as an example for you to learn from? Eerop. Job chapter 1, verses 6 to 11. So please follow along with us, my dear friends. Verse 6, And the day came to be that the sons of Elohim came to present themselves before Yah, and Hasat Tun also came among them. As you can see that Hasat Tun is also a son, and came along with the other sons before our father. But he is still the accuser. Verse 7, And Yah said to Hasat Tun, From where do you come? And Hasat Tun answered Yah and said, From diligently searching in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. He has been down there, meaning on the earth, and checking things out, as to what is going on. Verse 8, And Yah said to Hasat Tun, Have you considered my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth, a perfect and straight man, one who fears Elohim, and turns aside from evil? Here we have, for example, the elect of Yah, in the world, a type of Job, a man that could not deny the almighty Yah, the father, or turn away from him. Why was he blessed so much, because he loved the father, and the father loved him. He blessed him with wealth, and Job was able to handle it. Now here we have Hasat Tun, and the father asked him, What do you think of my servant Job, O Main? Verse 9, And Hasat Tun answered Yah, and said, is Job fearing Elohim for naught? Then Hasat Tun said, You think there is not a reason for this. This is Hasat Tun's way of operating and the way he thinks, my dear friends. Verse 10, Have you not made a hedge around him, and around his household, and around all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands, and his possessions have increased in the land. Now when you love the Father, he places a wall of protection around you, only if you ask for it. My friends, for it is his promise to his elect. Have you claimed it? Or are you just floating around out there carelessly like the rest of the world? Hasat Tun said to Yah, I can get to him, but you won't allow me to do so. My dear friends, there is a good lesson here for us, to learn from, especially for these end times, when Yah, has said, touch not my anointed and you can't go near them. Why, then do people shake in their boots about these end times, for they have that hedge of protection around them, if you are one of Yah's elect, if you know the truth, if you have the seal of Yah, in your mind. You cannot be deceived by the glow life, no way by Hasat Tun, O Main. Then Hasat Tun continues in verse 11, but stretch out your hand, please, and strike all that he has if he would curse you to your face. Job never cursed Elohim, and always said, I never done anything against him, I am innocent, and I love the father and I am going to stay with him, no matter what happens, O Main. Hasat Tun, 
destroyed everything that Job had. When the father removed that wall, Job still did not curse Elohim or turn on him. My dear friends, what a perfect example in that great book of Job, where we have 38 chapters in the beginning of the book, about his good friends, who weren't even Israelites, only foreigners, came over to advise Job, knowing these things were happening against him. They proclaimed and told Job, you must have done something wrong against Elohim. But that is not so, my dear friends, for Job did nothing wrong, but even after Elohim tempted Harsatun, he removed the wall. Knowing that Job would never turn against him, regardless of what will happen to him. Harsatun can do whatever he wanted to him, and Job would come through it all, with flying colors for the kingdom of Yah. This is why the father chose his elect in the first earth age, why, because they stood against Harsatun, when a third were drawn by the tail of the dragon, only Yah's elect, stood and have earned their right. To know and detest, Harsatun, with all his lies, that are only blowing smoke, fire and brimstone. You are too intelligent for that, my dear friends, because you know the simplicity of the word of Yah, and knowing Yah protects his own. Then and even today, as we all say, thank you Father, for your protection and love, forever, Amen. Back to Revelation 12. Verse 11, And they were victorious by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of his testimony and they did not love their lives unto death. Harsat Tun is death, in Ebrim, Hebrews chapter 2, verse 14, for because the children shared together in flesh and blood, he also shared in these things in the same form, so that by his death he would destroy the one who had held the authority of death, who is Satan, O main. My dear beloved when Harsatun, and his fallen angels are cast out onto the earth, we will be delivered up for our testimony, that is in our father's plan, so then let us rejoice in it. Meaning only Yah's chosen elect, his seven thousand and those who have the seal of Yah, his 144,000, in their minds will overcome them through the power given them in our Moshiach's blood. We, the elect of Yah, his army will understand, who Hasat Tun is, and know what will come to pass. Our father, Yah has promised us, that we have power over Hasat Tun, and Yah's protection is extended to each and every one of us, that are sealed in our minds with the full knowledge of his inspired, spiritual, living word. Amen. The word of our testimony, will allow us to overcome this anti moshiach and his falling evil angels. For we won't even need to premeditate on what to say, for Yah, through his Ruach Kordish, will put the words in our mouths. The death that only comes is to Yah's two witnesses, by the hand of Harsat Tun's murdering angels. Then after 84 hours, or, three and a half days, will rise alive and meet with, our king, master teacher, Yahushua, the Hebrew HaMoshiach, as he is returning at the sounding of the final and last horn, the seventh, as to the completeness of Yah's will, Amen. Verse 12, Therefore heavens, celebrate, and those who dwell in them, woe to the earth and to the sea, for the devil, who has great fury, has descended to them, as he knows that he has little time. Therefore, let us rejoice, and we should, for the devil, the fake Moshiach, has only five months, as we were told in chapter 9. Five months, in other words, that seven year period, is divided by two, into three and half year periods, is shortened to only five months, into two, two and one half month periods. As it is written in Menachem, Mark, 13, for his elect's sake, that time was shortened, and that is, the hour of temptation here on the earth, and a half hour in the heavens, O main. He is here as he cast out and he will be vicious, if you're described as vicious, you're someone who does brutal things on purpose, out of ill will towards others, in fact, you're evil. As far as deception is concerned, he is not going around hurting people, Except spiritually, he will cause you to lose your very soul, if you listen to him. As Harsatun, is cast out, those dear souls in heaven will start a celebration, and we his elect on the earth, 
will rejoice with them, O Main. Those are the dear ones, his Mashiachim, belonging to Moshiach, that have died and are in heaven with the Father today. However, Ha-Satan, the devil, is coming to earth with his angels to bring the wrath of their deception with them. He is not after your body, but after your soul. Ha-Satan, knows Yah's word, and the judgment passed upon him. He is sentenced to death already, and he knows his time is short, to only five months. He will come to earth with his full bag of tricks, and lying wonders, and the with authority from Elohim to deceive every man on this earth. The only exception is to those who have the seal, the full knowledge of Yah, as written in his inspired, spiritual, living Kordish word, for the spirit man that is now alive within us. And our mind will not be deceived by this fake and imposter, Ha Satan, O Main. If you have not taken the time, to study and learn from Yah's truth, from his Kordish word into your mind, you will fall for Ha Satan's razzle dazzle side shows of tricks. He will walk this earth with his fallen angels, and you will see them, hear their speech, as they present themselves to fellow man. You are not going to fly out of here, but face them in this last generation, and you will either stand against, this fake messiah, Ha Satan and his realm, or you will fall. What is at stake here is your soul, in your spirit man, that is now dead or alive living in your body. If it is living then you are blessed by your father and have understanding, for you are Yah's property now, and marked with his seal. If not, then get on your knees, and repent to your father, who loves you, through his king and high priest, under the order of Melchizedek, our Moshiach, to bring everlasting life to one's spirit man, as one repents and is born from above, as his spirit man, lives forever, O Main. My dear friends, this cannot be done in the flesh, for flesh and blood cannot enter Yah's kingdom here on the earth, for it is a spiritual kingdom and the Father is a living spirit man, himself, as all the rest of us, that are living in his kingdom today, both here and in heaven, O Main. Verse 13, And when the dragon saw that it had been cast down to the earth, it persecuted the woman who had given birth to the male. My dear friends, he is going to do it, big deal for he is only a dead man walking. For only Amoshiach, as it is written in Yosef, Luke chapter 10, verse 18, I beheld Ha Satan as lightning fall from heaven and I give you power over serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. Meaning Ha Satan, and no thing shall injure or hurt you, O Main. This event took place five days before Passover, so keep that in your mind as to the time of this event to take place, my dear friends, and mark it down on your solar calendar, the main reason we did the solar calendar to find the exact date for the year 2018, for it is the end of the 70 year, in this last generation, for if it is in Yah's will, O Main. So what then, are we going to worry about, for he going to try? to persecute the woman. These are the 144,000 sealed ones from the tribes of Jacob, Israel, as to their identity is in the book of revealing to Yah's elect, Revelation 7, for not all tribes are represented. From the tribe of Judah 12,000 were sealed, from the tribe of Reuben 12,000. From the tribe of Gad 12,000, from the tribe of Asher 12,000, from the tribe of Naphtali 12,000, from the tribe of Manasseh 12,000, from the tribe of Simeon 12,000, from the tribe of Levi 12,000, from the tribe of Issachar 12,000, from the tribe of Zebulun 12,000, from the tribe of Joseph 12,000, and from the tribe of Benjamin 12,000. My dear friends, we see the woman here again, Israel, who is now identified and promoting Yahushua, the Hebrew HaMoshiach, in the world today. Though Ha Satan has the rest of the world under his control, for all religions are his, as his children, the Kenites have already prepared them to accept this fake, as they promote him today as coming soon. Did you know that this fake controls all religions including Christianity in the world, for religion is one of his four hidden dynasties. But he also wants our souls, 
the select elect and 144,000 sealed ones of Yah, the prophet Hosea, identified them in Hosha, Hosea chapter 1, verse 10. Hosha. Hosea, chapter 1 verse 10, Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured not numbered, and it shall come to pass, that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, then it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living Yah. Hosea, is calling attention to the time of the end, to Israel in the end times and how they will be remembered. In the locations where each of these tribes are located, not in Palestine, but in Europe, and in the Americas, or wherever those nations are established. However also, in that location they will call themselves sons of the living Yah, Yahushua, the Hebrew HaMoshayach, is the living Elohim and those that are sons of Elohim are called his Mashiachim, Omain. Back to Revelation 12. Verse 14, and two wings of a great eagle were given to the woman to fly into the wilderness to her place, to be sustained there for a time, times, and half a time, from before the face of the serpent. The two wings of this great eagle are going to spread into this wilderness with truth. They are going to place in the minds of this woman, Israel, Yah's elect. Then the elect will understand who Ha Satan is and all the supernatural events that are around him. My dear friends, the first two and half months are going to be no sweat, only for us to observe and take it all in, the wilderness will protect us, for we have nothing to worry about. As it was written in chapter 2, in the book of revealing to Yah's elect, as he wrote to the congregation of Smyrna, we shall have, as an individual ten days of trial. And that would be the end of it as we continue to witness to the people. As he, meaning the fake messiah, continues to blow smoke and brimstone on the whole nation, on the earth, only to deceive as many as he can, these lies pouring out of his mouth like flowing honey. Claiming it will be okay, for Ha Satan has his own little traits, and don't ever fall for it. As he continues, for time was split, for two and one half months, and our father, Yah, will make sure that she, meaning his elect and his 144,000 are protected during this time, O Maine. Verse 15, And the serpent cast water like a river out of its mouth, like a flood. After the woman, to cause her to be taken by the waters. The flood is, the flood of lies and deception by Ha Satan. Back in the book of revealing in chapter 9 verse 18. And by these three scourges a third of the children of men were killed, spiritually killed, by the fire, by the brimstone and by the smoke that proceeded from their mouths. Came forth the lies of Ha Satan. Many of these lying prognosticators, come along and forecast or predict the earth will be viciously destroyed in the end. Especially these global warming quacks, they would have you think there will be so much destruction, but it is just the opposite. My dear friends, that is the reason why so many people by these lies are going to be deceived. Peace, love and harmony, unfortunately it is toward Ha Satan, the fake messiah, for this is the way he comes, onto the earth, and not by war or destruction. But they don't know the difference, why? Because they don't have the seal of Yah, in their minds, and not knowing that Ha Satan comes first, as the fake. The whole world wanders after him, this is going to happen, my dear friends, why? Because they are taught this by their Kenite ministers and teachers, in those temples of doom, that are all full of Ha Satan's lies and deceptions. He is an expert at it all, this is his method of operation, and always begins by him telling you how wonderful you are. That is why when one of his own, comes up to you and starts telling you, what a wonderful person you are, how intelligent, how kind, how reassuring you are, what a good good friend, but, the big word but, you need to follow this belief. Many will say, how do you know this woman is made up of Israel? For there are a lot of religions in the world. We know in verse 5, when the woman delivered a man child that will shepherd, all the nations with a rod of iron, and was caught up to the father and his throne. 
this is only the Messiah, if you love him and believe him, then you are his Amashiachim, belonging to the Messiah, a Talmidah, as a true disciple that is more like him in all of your ways, being like Yahushua. These are, today for now, the sealed ones of 144,000 from the tribes of Israel, as we covered earlier in our study, O Main. My dear friends, only his sheep, of the Mashiachim, know his voice, of the true and only one, whom they serve, and only the true Yahushua, our Moshiach, can proclaim himself, as the Ben of the Everlasting Father, Yah, that laid the claim to be the only way of salvation, O Main. That is the name and position that the fake wants, Ha Satan, and he is out to get you. For he already has the rest of the world deceived. Especially Christians in the world, for they promote his evil doctrines that are against the true and everlasting word of our Father, and claim he is coming soon to them in the world. Yes he is coming soon, your fake and imposter, your father, the Elohim that you worshipping and serving in those church houses in the world today, O Main. The woman is you, that went with another man, by not waiting on your true and only one that comes later on, at the final and last horn, the seventh, when we are all in spiritual bodies, meaning in our spirit man, for the flesh is done away with, some being dead meaning your spirit man is dead, but mortal, meaning can die, and other being alive, meaning your spirit man is alive, being immortal, meaning never to die, O oh main. Anyone who professes to be a Christian today, is lost and belongs to the fake messiah, but many will overcome during the tribulation period, O oh main. Even Gentiles that accept the true master, Yahushua, our Moshiach can still be grafted in today, and become part of the living tree of Israel. These souls are the target of his flood of lies. The elect and 144,000 sealed ones, of our father, Yah and these deceptions coming from the mouth of Hazatun. He may put some of us in prison, but we should have tribulation for only ten days, O Main. Verse 16, And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed that river which the dragon had cast from its mouth. For the father always takes care of his own, my dear friends, this earth is our home, our flesh body comes from her as we eat our clean food from her fields and discover how beautiful she really is, with her rivers and oceans, from her valleys and mountain tops, as she protects us from the elements, and provides for all us living on her today, O oh Main. The double-edged sword is Yah's truth of his Kordish word, and this is what comes out of Yahushua, the Hebrew Harmoshiach's, mouth. In turn, what comes out of the mouth of Harsatun, will be a flood of lies and deceptions that will make up his false religions. This evil one will take the word of Yah, and twist and distort it into his lies to appear to be from Elohim. Harsatun, the anti-Messiah, will make it look so good and positive, that the unlearned of the scriptures will take it as the truth. Most denominations today are infiltrated with Kenites, in their church leadership and have allowed their teaching in their seminaries, that the positions of in their doctrines they are ready to place themselves into the anti-messiah's system. They will accept the anti-messiah, ha Satan, as their savior, for they are all taught to do so. They will be proud to proclaim themselves to be part of that one world system of ha Satan. My dear friends, this is why it is so important to check out the manuscripts, of our father's Kordish word, in the searching for his inspired, spiritual and living word, with the help of only his ruach, from above, to guide and teach you, for yourself, O Main. Verse 17, And the dragon raged against the woman, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, these who keep the commandments of Yahuwah and have the testimony of Yahushua. My dear friends, the dragon always raged against the woman, that remnant, that will never bow to him, that remnant that always speaks the truth that scolds him. That remnant is the elect of Yah, his 7000 and the 144,000 sealed ones that are coming in, in this last generation of this world today. Her seed being our Yahushua, our teacher, our king, and our Hebrew Moshiach, forever, O Main. Are you going to keep the commandments of Yah? 
be it physical or spiritual? My dear friends, the physical is for flesh man, whose spirit man is dead, but the spiritual, is for the spirit man, who is presently alive, that is born from above and united back to Yah, and his kingdom, for they live by the spiritual laws, which is the law of liberty, that was given to them by Ben, his son, our king priest, under the order of Melchizedek, our Moshiach, that brings everlasting life to one's spirit man forever, O Main. If so, then the rest in the world are part of this woman, belonging to Hasatun. This imposter and fake is angry over Yah's elect, yet we have the power over him. There is one great tribulation coming and that what this chapter tells us. It is the tribulation of anti-Messiah, for he is going to be cast out very soon upon us. And he comes in peacefully and prosperly as the book of Daniel repeats over and over so you won't be deceived, O Main. My dear friends. He pays your bills, he buys votes, he makes deals behind closed doors, he is a wheeler and dealer of evil deeds in order to trick and deceive them in his kingdom, for he is a louse, and a low life, as he once was during the first earth age, and nothing is new under the sun, O Main. The war, of the latter days, as most preachers and ministers proclaim, in those temples of doom, is not fought with guns and rockets but with words and doctrines, with concepts that come right out of the Bible. It is a spiritual warfare, and the battlefield is in your mind. To be ready for that war, you must have your spiritual armor on and in place, and be ready to do spiritual battle with Harsatun, and all his realm. The dragon knows who you are very well, and he knows your weaknesses. That is the reason that we must be armed with his Ruach, Kordish word, of our father, Yah. For it will be his Ruach Kordish that speaks through you in that very special day, O Main. My dear brothers and sisters of our congregation, we must beware of false teachers in these end days, these workers of iniquity, and how they corrupt and change the spiritual truth of our Father's inspired, living and loving word, O Main. They are marked by Yah, as deceivers and co-workers, as they rebelled in the first earth age, along with Ha Satun, against the kingdom of Yah, and are doing the same today, for nothing is new under the sun. These dead and evil souls, certainly don't belong at the table of our Moshiach, Yahushua, along with us, his elect, forever, O Main. It is our duty to be watchmen on the tower, warning our members to beware of false prophets and false teachers who lie in wait to ensnare and destroy faith and testimony, of our Father. Yah's Kordish word. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am with the Messiah, through their church, congregation and ministry, shall deceive many. So beware of these false teachers and we the elect shall make it straight and warn our congregation, O Main. Now let us cover a few verses on the very subject here, beginning with 1st Bar Neva, Timothy, chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. Yah's Ruach specifically tells us that in later days there will be men who abandon the true faith of Yah, and allow themselves to be spiritually seduced by teachings of the devil, Harsat Tun's teachings given by men who are lying hypocrites, whose consciences are as dead as seared flesh. Next in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 14 and 15. Then we shall no longer be children, carried by the waves and blown about by every shifting wind of the teaching of deceitful people, who lead others into error by the tricks they invent. Instead, by speaking the truth in a spirit of love, we must grow up in every way to our Moshiach, Yahushua, who is the head. Then in 2nd, Kepha, Peter chapter 2, verses 1 to 3. False prophets appeared in the past among the people, and in the same way false teachers will appear among you. They will bring in destructive, untrue doctrines, and will deny the master who redeemed them, and so they will bring upon themselves sudden destruction. Even so, many will follow their immoral ways, and because of what they do, others will speak evil of the way of truth. In their greed these false teachers will make a profit out of telling you made up stories. For a long time now their judge has been ready, and their destroyer has been wide awake. My beloved, we can accept nothing as authoritative but that which comes directly through the appointed Ruach, Kordish of our father Yah, through his priesthood, 
which we belong, under his head, our spiritual king priest, under the order of Melchizedek, and that is only our Moshiach, Yahushua, forever, Amen. For the spirit man that is now, alive within us, which makes it known to us, our father's mind, as he teaches us his overall plans for mankind from the very beginning to the very end, especially for these end days, to those that truly love him, his chosen elect in the world today, Amen. Now as to them in the world, the moment that individual looks to any other source, outside the inspired living Kordish word, that moment they throw themselves open to the seductive influences of Ha Satan, and render themselves liable to become servants of the devil, they lose sight of the true order through which the blessings of the priesthood are to be enjoyed, they step outside of the wall of protection from the kingdom of Yah, and are on dangerous ground. Whenever you see a man rise up claiming to have received direct revelation from the master of their church or congregation, independent or otherwise, without checking out in the spiritual inspired living word of our father, with help from his Ruach Kordish from above, consider that one as an imposter, O main. Now some of us are blessed with the gift of discernment. Is to understand or know something through the power of his spirit. The gift of discernment, from the father is one of the gifts of the spirit. It includes perceiving the true character of people and the source and meaning of spiritual manifestations. For man looks on the outward appearance, but our father looks on the heart, woe unto them that call evil good, for the things of Yah are always spiritually discerned, O main. Let us get something straight in your minds. Ha Sat Tun controls this world under his four hidden dynasties, for he controls religions in the world, that includes his black dead Bibles, which are only translations by his Kenite scribes but not the spiritual inspired word of our father, Yah. Where you find twisted verses, added and omitted words, to only take the reed off the path of life, of everlasting truth. Where you find, Ha Satan doing the same to Eve, and even to the Messiah, as he fasted in the wilderness for forty days, as he twisted verses, added and omitted words, for this is means of operation, to only deceive lie and take possession of your soul. For Ha Sat Tun is also the tree of knowledge, in the garden. He also controls all education, for that is another of his hidden dynasties. Therefore he controls what he wants you to know, on his level, which is totally against Yah's truth and his creation. By putting one into total darkness, and unbelief. And yet the world follows after him, the deceiver, and robber of souls, O main. We have come to the end of our study today and we want to thank you all, for following along with us as his Ruach leads us, from above into one accord to everlasting life, O main. As we continue in prayer, for those who are lost in this world, as we reach out for those seekers of Yah's truth, for he loves them all, his children, and wants to save them from the evil in this world, who is only the counterfeiter, Ha Satan, in those church houses in the world, O main. My dear beloved, only through your new spirit man, that is now alive in you, all truth that was once hidden by Ha Satan, will come as the light of the day. As our father, Yah, opens our spiritual minds to remembrance, as his Ruach Kordish teaches us all things, on all levels with full understanding, as your spirit man grows with his spiritual food, for the kingdom of Yah, O main. Mam Law Kor means the rule, realm and kingdom of Yah, and Yahushua, from the Kihila Smyrna Yah, the congregation that loves both, our father, Yahuwah and his Ben, Yahushua, forever, O main. We pray that you all have been richly blessed, by his Ruach Kordish, as you continue your work for Yah's kingdom today, as you rest in our spiritual king priest, our Moshiach, Yahushua, under the order of Melchizedek, forever. For your spirit man that is now, alive within you, for only those who are born from above, and welcomed back into the Father's kingdom, O main. And for now let us leave you in Shalom, Vihava, peace and love, till we meet once again, if it is in the Father, Yah's will, O main.